Yeah, hello everyone. Um, welcome back again to your favorite channel, Smile Gambia, and uh, welcome back again into another very interesting video. So here, yeah, currently, I am at Bunu. I am standing at Bunu right now. You know, um, uh, we are here to see the ongoing developments in the um the Latikuna Bambo OIC road here because um if you are, if you are keeping tabs in the ongoing oic um you will know that here as well as part of the package so we are here today to show you the ongoing developments and how they have gone far with work so yeah, if you are new to the platform please subscribe like and share this video this is smile gambia so i'll be beginning the video from here then i will walk you all the way to um Serekunda bambu so yeah um if you are keenly following in the development as i said earlier yeah you would know that um the oic road construction um is um one of the most notable projects in the gambia right now because as we all know um the gambia is gearing up for a major international conference and uh, these are some of the mechanisms in which they are putting place um to make sure that they will welcome that occasion with um, absolute readiness so yeah here is as well as part of the package um, as i was saying earlier i am speaking from bundong right now so i would want to walk you all the way to serekunda so we see the developments here as well if the os is concerned how far they have gone with their work You can see these are the canals. Yeah, these are the canals to ensure that um, the road is free from sewages and uh, stagnant of water during the rainy season. You know, yeah, you can see they are built with such durability and efficiency. But um, to be honest, guys, my honest observation is um, they haven't gone far with work here because look at yeah, look at the groundwork. Um, because um, the, the the canals are will be projected in both sides of the highway, and you can see here, you can clearly see this is just docked, you know, um, no concrete, no railings. It's just been docked, so there's still a long way to go. And as well, if the groundwork as well is concerned, you can see um, it's just the gravel that is being laid on the ground, you know. There is no basalt yet. It is not even leveled. Um, it's not even level to satisfaction yet so yeah so here are the construction workers you can see the construction workers right there they are already at work It's like they are much more following with um they are much more focusing on the uh, canal you know, projects in the iron rods and the concrete so it's all part of the work So you can see this is what this is some very big machine here i think it is responsible for digging the canals you can see the machine right there already at work so yeah let's keep going further and see how it looks from um further in here let's see all those canals are being docked but if i from the digging nothing is done now so which is to say they have still have a very long way to go because um the if the commencement of the OIC is concerned is nothing less than a month now 
so it's like they have a very little time to wrap up this work which i am assuming is almost um non-existent if they will be ready to if, if they'll be able to complete the project here against them because it's just one to one suko and you can see um there's still a lot of work to be done here see a lot of work to be done here the ground isn't much leveled yet the digging of the canals as well isn't complete and uh you know and uh, the, the 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 final layer you know the final layer that is the basalt as well is not projected on the ground so we should say they still have a long way to go but let's see what awaits we will be coming here time to time to show you how far they have gone with the we do work here so as i was saying i am at bundong right now heading to serekunda you know serekunda bombo this is the latirkunda bombo highway which is part of the package of the ongoing oic road construction so that is where we are today to show you the developments here as well no problem. you can see um, you can see these are all piles of gravel they will need to be shattered these are all piles of gravel they will need to be scattered on the ground all which has not been done yet so yeah in summary there's still a lot of work going on here or oh, still a lot of work to be done because um, yeah there's still work to be done here let me show you the canals as well you can see these are the canals for the swift movement of water during the rainy season. You can see the, the projection of the iron rods in this part of the road is already being done. You can see the concrete as well. So yeah, bit by bit they are, they are going far with the work. Here is another pile of gravel. You can see the walkers right there. You know, they don't fancy the camera being projected on them. So I'm just taking a, a snake, a snip of them before they notice my filming. So yeah, this is how it looks here, guys. The Latirkunda Bombo Highway. Now we're heading towards Serekunda. So if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends and family. This is your favorite channel, Smile Gambia. You know, with us, we will bring you all the latest developments happening here in the Gambia. We want to keep you posted on everything um, that is going on here. So, so with that, you can kindly subscribe to the channel if you are new here.
see the ground you can see the nature of the ground it's very rough everywhere not being leveled yet so just as I was saying there's a lot of work to be done and you can see the tractor right there it's already at work um, it is helpful with pouring of the granite on the road and the leveling of the ground so as I was saying still there is a lot of work and that is to be done here See, this is a tractor. The tractor is already at work. It's like um, they, have they are leveling the ground now. Uh, this is such a very big machine. Here as well you can see um, piles of gravel here, a lot of them, but um, they are currently being you know, laid on the ground as unleveled as you can see. Mm -hmm. See as I was saying, the tractor is helping level the, the gravel on the ground. So interesting work going on here. So here now we go further, um, you see how it looks as well there. So 
so yeah this is the other side of the road and you can see the nature of the canals here as well so just i was saying you know there's still a lot of work to be done here
So yeah guys you can see here is um this is how it looks here as well. Um um that is the nature of the the canals here too. So yeah this is much more closer to Pombo now. We have left um, we have left Buno right behind there. We are much more closer to Bambo Serakuna now. But this road's um projects um all the way to Budung then Latirkunda Tabokoto. So it is which connects as well with the main highway that goes to Tabokoto, Abuko, Lamen, then Birkama. So I am assuming once my um, work is done here it will ease it might ease congestion. Um the people that will be going to Tabokoto and Bundo might not necessarily need to ply the main highway if they are coming from Banjul or Serekuda. So which in essence will really ease the um the, the traffic jam in the KM area. So you can see the tractor is um, helping with the leveling of the gravel rocks um, from one portion at a time. It's like they are focusing on this side here right now, you know, which looks almost leveled right now as you can see. Um, if they are done here, I'm sure they will be going further. So this appears to be taking, this appears to be something that will take a very very long time because this is some really technical work and it um and it has to be done to perfection oh you can see So yes guys, just as I was saying earlier, um, I want to take you all the way to Serekunda Bambo um, to have a snippet of the nature of the whole environment here. So yeah, you can see this is how it looks from this side here as well. Um, you can see, um, you know, piles of gravel here too. Uh, there are piles of gravel here as well, which are also ought to be scattered and leveled to the ground before the final layer comes that is the basalt so still a lot a lot a lot of work that is to be done here honestly
So you can see um, the movement of a lot of people here today um, you can notice it so the nature of the environment isn't like this on a normal day because um, you can just see there are a lot of people going in and out um, this is because uh, we all know the Ramadan is ending soon that is the Muslims um, breaking of their fast so they're making preparations ahead um, ahead um, towards the, its commemoration you know they go to the market for shopping and so this is why um, a lot of people are going and coming here as you can as you have seen Well, guys, these are the looks of the nature here. Um, this is how it looks here. If um, the OIC of Serakunda Bombo is concerned for now, this is how far they have gone with the uh, with the construction of the route. Um, and we hope you find this video very interesting. So, if you are new to the platform, just please subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and family. Uh, it's your favorite channel, Smile Gambia. We have now arrived at Serakunda, and the people here do not definitely fancy the camera being projected at them, which is why I want to stop the video from here. So, nonetheless, we look forward to catching up with you again into another video. Goodbye and have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.